When we made the move to save Greece and Turkey, the newspaper men who were always hunting for a short name that'll cover a situation called it the Truman Doctrine. It was merely a part of the foreign policy of the United States which contained all these things, all these maneuvers which we made to prevent Stalin from taking Eastern Europe and Southeast Asia. But when we went into Greece and Turkey, they wanted to shorten name of things and they called the Truman Doctrine. It's just a part of the foreign policy of the United States. And I don't care to have anything named for me that is a part of all the rest of the maneuvers which we were making. But uh, it's got it. I don't know how we're going to get it loose, but I want you to understand that it doesn't belong there. The whole maneuver was to save the free world, all the way around the uh, western border and the southern border of, of Russia. And it, it, uh, there were a half a dozen maneuvers that were made that were necessary, which we were going to cover in this thing. Uh, they were all a part of the foreign policy of the United States to keep communism from spreading in the world. That's all it was for. And it worked eventually, but although at the time it was a very, very difficult situation. We didn't know whether we were going into a third world war in order to get that done, or whether we were going to do it with a conversation and an effort to make the United Nations work. It, the latter thing was what was finally done. The United States uh, made an about face from isolationism through internationalism. It became necessary when the British which had been the stabilizer along with France in Africa and Asia and the Pacific and the Atlantic too, when they uh, were uh, completely, almost completely worn out by the Second World War and when Britain made up its mind that it was going to get out of Greece and the Near East, something had to be done to prevent that, or, uh, that part of the world from becoming communist. And we had to step in and do it. And that changed our foreign policy from isolationism to internationalism. And it is the only thing that kept the whole world from being communist. 